Yo, what's up, guys? It's, let me get comfortable here. It is early in the morning. I know you guys, I know this man ain't about to sit here and act like he ain't been gone for two months. You know what? I'm going to explain that completely in another video because I ain't got time for that this morning because it is 7.10. We are headed, well, I am headed to Target because I just checked Breach Seek and they have the assortment for Bob Ross. And in that assortment, they have the Flop Bob Ross, of which I think is a Target exclusive. They have the Common Bob Ross. And then they have the Chase Bob Ross. And you know all of us toy collecting YouTubers, we love some chases. We love putting that chase in the title because it makes people click. We're all here for the views. Anyway, so yeah, that's where we're headed. Mainly, we're not even headed to town to hunt for pops. But, you know, I feel while I'm there doing other stuff, I might as well hunt for some. And like I said, we're going to Target first because they're the first place that opens. And after that, we are headed to... Uh, I can't, I can't remember. Oh, where are we headed to? We'll make it some damn where. Probably like book some mailing because they're in the next place hoping that opens at nine. And then after that, hot topic. And then after that, we got to go to the comic book store because I got to pick up two original drawings slash, well, two original art of uh, some guy, some, I think it's Goku and Vegeta that I had a guy do for me. So I'll show those off in this video. I haven't been to the comic book shop in like, probably the same amount of time I haven't been on YouTube like two months because of what I've been doing and why I haven't had really had time to make videos and stuff like that but like I said all that's gonna be explained in another video that I have a haul planned but today is mainly about me going to pick up some uh I need some new pants and some new shoes because I'm going to a class reunion with my girlfriend it's her class reunion it's been 10 years for her it's been 12 years for me I didn't go to my reunion because it was probably gonna be lame but uh, yeah, I gotta go pick up some new pants, some new shoes to wear today because it's semi form one. I don't really have anything except a button up shirt. But uh, other than that, I was planning on getting a haircut today, but I might wait till tomorrow or the day of because it'd be fresh as hell. And other than that, let's, we're just gonna go home for some pops as normal. I have, haven't done it in a while. So uh, actually, I have done it. I lied to you. This video is actually after New York Comic Con. And I did go home for Pops then, but I'm just going to show those off in the hall. Anyway, let's go home for some Pops. It's been a while since I brought you guys along, so let's do this. We have about five more minutes before this place opens up. There's people outside waiting. Are they flippers? Are they pop collectors? Like I said, I got to go in here mainly because I need some new pants, some new shoes, and that Bob Ross. I might just pick up a Bob Ross in any way. Maybe the flop version if I can get it because I want one. Everybody, everybody loves Bob Ross. The only bad thing about the chase thing with here is one, a lot of people shop here. The chase is probably gone. Two, a lot of people like Bob Ross. So most likely employees probably saw it and thought it was worth something. So they went and picked it up and there's probably like one for everything. So it's probably gone anyway, but hey, you never know. We might have some luck. All right, guys, we're out of Target. Did not film in there, but here's why. Went in there, they were actually resetting the Funko wall. If you've been to Target before, Funko products are on the back wall near electronics. They're completely resetting it, and they really scared me. I was like, oh my goodness. So I talked to them. There was two employees there. I talked to them. I said, are y'all resetting? They're like, of course we're resetting. But uh, I said, yeah, do y'all have the uh, Bob Ross assortment? And they're like, well, if you have it, it'll be coming out later when we do the complete reset. I was like, crap, I'm going to be at work later. I'm not going to be in Wilmington. But I was walked back over there just to see, you know, their new price tag and see what was coming out. And there was a guy over there. He's like, he's like, uh, he goes, so you said it was on our system? I said, yeah. He goes, let me check. And he checks. He goes, you know what? Since, uh, since we're supposed to put it out today, I'm gonna go ahead and get it. I was like, you are the man. I don't, I can't, I don't know what his name was, but whatever your name is, man, shout out to you. You're the man. He goes in the back, comes back out with, and he says, this was already supposed to be set out. It's not even going where they're resetting right now. It's supposed to go somewhere completely different. And he goes, it should be good to sell. He goes. How many do you want? I was like, well, I'm looking for a certain one. I was looking for this one. Kind of glad I held off on the original Bob Ross because now I got that one. Dude, I do not get lucky at Target very often. And when I do, it feels so good. I can't believe that it was not out. I can't believe I got it. It's, that's, that's freaking crazy. Like, how did I manage this? I don't know. Like, I'm just still unbelievable. Anyway, got my pants. Uh, man, pants, they're expensive. Even for like, they're they are called Denizens, which are like a Levi brand. You're almost just better off buying Levi's. I think it's like $30. But yeah, got this bad boy. There was only one chase to the assortment. So I don't know if it's one chase for every Target, which that's crazy. But there's like six flocked um, Bob Rosses, and there's like six regular ones, and there's uh, 
the Target exclusive Bob Ross, and then the one chase. I was hoping to find two chases because I wanted to get one for me and one for my friend, but they did not have one. They kind of put a chase sticker in a weird place. I'm not sure they put it there because the uh, Target sticker, it looks like there was a sticker on it. Like maybe there was supposed to be a Target sticker there. I'm not sure. Or maybe they put it over there then put it back over here. I don't know. Maybe I got a weird one that doesn't have a Target sticker. If I do, I'll just go get a Target sticker from another pop that, that's Target exclusive and just peel it off, put it on there. Anyway, I'm done talking. Right now it is 8.32. Nothing else is open. So now I wait and I got to pee. So where to go now? Uh, I don't know. Let's go to Walmart, I guess. Screw it. Looks like a whole lot of nothing, but I did notice this. Three pack. 40 years. Anybody looking for that in my area? Well, there you go. And nothing else really. Damn. So the sun finally came out, so I had to throw in the Ray Bans. But uh, as you saw, Walmart they didn't have squat. I did see a three pack of Star Wars. Thank God I don't collect Star Wars. I'd be broke as shit. But uh, we are at Walgreens. I really don't have a point to be at Walgreens, but you'll learn why in probably my next video when I show you my haul. But uh, maybe they have those Halloween pops. I mean, most likely not, but there's always hope again. But, hey, we got lucky with the Bob Ross. Maybe we get lucky at Walgreens. I've been pretty good at Walgreens the past two times I've been there. Anyway, let's go inside, check it out, see what they got. Well, they have this cool human torch. That's what we go to. Uh, new Sasha Banks and same old job. These guys aren't even together anymore. Who cares? Dwarves action, trash. Oh God, I turned the damn windshield wipers on by accident. Anyway, guys, uh, Walgreens also didn't have anything, nothing new anyway. Well, they did have some new stuff, but nothing I wanted. We are here at the mall waiting for Hot Topic to open and GameStop. GameStop, I'm hoping they have Surter. I'm seeing people getting their pre-orders, so maybe they have an extra one in there I can pick up because that's probably the coolest pop out of the whole ordeal with uh, Thor Ragnarok. Not, uh, well, that and the Thor exclusive from Hot Topic. Anyway, we're going to hit Hot Topic first just to check. Don't think there's any exclusives coming out right now, but there might be, any, I don't know, just check for chases. Today's a chase day, and I just noticed something. I got the Chase Bob Ross on Friday the 13th. I thought I wasn't supposed to be lucky on Friday the 13th. Maybe I'm just that damn badass. All right, guys. Officially, it is two days later since uh, you saw me in Hot Topic last, and I just got busy. I went somewhere that night. I don't even. We went out to eat with my girlfriend and her family because it was her mom's birthday. Anyway, I finally got around to uh, filming the rest of this video because yesterday, what did I do yesterday? Woke up late, went and got a haircut as you can see, and went to a class reunion for my girlfriend. It was actually more fun. I mean, it wasn't fun, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Plus, they had a bar, so I was able to drink some beer, and I kind of regret it because uh, I drank Corona. And for some reason, Corona gives me headaches. Even if I don't get drunk, I wake up with a headache and it sucks. So anyway, I figured I'd go back over what I got. I did pick up some stuff that you guys did not see in the video or the hunting part of the video. And that's because actually later on, I went back to Target. And also, I went to the comic book shop and I didn't film in there because I really wasn't going there to really hunt for anything. But I did come out with something because it was actually something on hold for me actually for a while now because I haven't been there for like two months now because just I've been so busy working and stuff. So anyway, I'm going to start off with the thing you know about. You guys saw me pick this up in the video, very first part, very first place we went to hunt actually. I woke up real early, got to Target before they even opened up. Because online, I can, like I've already told this, but went online that morning and on BrickSeek they had the uh, Bob Ross assortment was in stock. When I got to the store, they were actually resetting the Funko wall. So I kind of got scared. I was like, oh no, what are they doing? And then I got, well I got scared for a reason was... When I saw that, I knew that it was going to be a while before they put anything new out because they were just now starting to work on it. So I went over and asked about it. Long story short, they had him in the back. The guy went in the back, got him for me. He asked me how, how many I wanted. And I saw this, I was like, I just need one. So I picked this bad boy here up. I should have got, I kind of think I should have got the uh, flocked version of uh, Bob Ross just because it's cool. You know, he's always been known for his afro, so it would have been cool to have like a hairy afro version of Bob Ross. 
plus it was a Target exclusive, and you know those are hard to find. Like it's ridiculous, Crota. Anyway, so I was able to pick this up. It's kind of a weird placement for the sticker. I'm not sure. And it looks like there was a sticker here almost. So I'm not sure that he just kept putting them there because he maybe thought they were supposed to put a Target sticker here. I don't know. Or maybe they just wanted you to be able to see Hoot. Who knows? The only difference I see here with this one and the regular version is the painting that he's holding is different. And obviously Hoot is in the actual box instead of it's either Peapod or I don't know, some kind of rat. Or there was another. Oh, oh the raccoon. That's who it was. There was a raccoon in the regular version. There's an owl in this version. But anyway, he is super cool. I am super lucky that I actually got this guy before anybody else did because Target sucks. I mean, they legitimately suck. They're worse than freaking Walgreens at this point. Like, they do not get the exclusives that you want. They got 5,000 million Lightning McQueens. They got 5,000 million Mass Effect Target exclusives that nobody buys. And the ones you want, the Rick and Mortys, the Crotas, nobody's ever heard of them. Nobody's ever seen them. And if you have, they're selling them for a gajillion dollars on eBay. And nobody's even actually paying that. They're just doing that to... Uh, Screw the uh, flippers. And that's a good idea, guys. So next thing, we went, when I say we, I actually meant me. I went to the comic book shop, like I said, to uh, pick up some things that had been a hold on for me. I actually, I guess you could technically say I commissioned this out to a local artist. This is pretty freaking cool. Kind of an art theme today. We have Bob Ross with his happy trees. And today, I have two paintings or drawings or whatever you want to call them of custom art done by a guy named, I think... His name is Haji Pajamas, but it's, it's something different on Instagram. I can't remember, HP Fangs or something. Anyway, I'll probably link his Instagram in the uh, description below just so you guys can go check him out. He has a way of doing uh, his art. He does a lot of art of different characters that you know, Nickelodeon, superheroes, basically, and some custom characters. But he has a certain way of doing them, and you'll see here in a minute. And it's really cool. When I saw what he had done before, he had he had Rick and Morty pictures, and I was like, man, you know, you know, I'm a big Rick and Morty fan. I didn't buy those, but I was like, man, you know, it'd be really cool if you did uh, some Dragon Ball Z versions, and uh, I'd buy some of those. Well, originally, I thought that he was gonna uh, make an original of these Dragon Ball Z characters, and then make prints, and I was gonna buy the prints. Come to find out, I have the originals, and he doesn't plan on making any more like this, so it's pretty cool. I have a one of a kind of thing. Never going to be made. He might draw another one, but it's going to be technically different because it's not. It's another original. So what I have are one of a kind of pieces, actually. Anyway, the very first thing we have here is Vegeta. Now you know he looks kind of derpy, but that's his way of doing things. Like the eyes, the teeth are the really main thing that you notice with this art. Like he puts those kind of teeth on all the characters that he usually does. And it just looks really cool, man. It looks really clean. And there's a signature down there. Like I said, this is the original art piece. There's no other one like this. He, I gave him the chance. I said, hey, man, you want to make more prints and sell them and make more money? Go ahead. Just keep them and make more prints. And then I'll come back and get the originals whenever. But he's like, nope, I want you to have the originals. I don't want anybody else to have these. I was like, all right, man, cool. That's pretty freaking cool. But yeah, there's Vegeta. Probably, hmm third favorite character yeah probably third favorite character in Dragon Ball Z but obviously the, most, the second most popular character in Dragon Ball Z so that's probably why I did this one so it's kind of a hint you know what the other one is already kind of so but yeah he looks freaking cool man let me see if I can get a close-up of him there he is looks cool man I love it I gotta figure out I think I'm gonna put him in some better frames and uh, hang him up on the wall but right for right now they're just like these old five by seven postcard frames so and that's just so they can charge for you know, cheaper. They don't. They could just charge for the art, not so much for the frame. Because, man, frames can be expensive. It's ridiculous. So the next one, of course, you know who it already is. It's Kakarot, aka Goku, aka Son Goku, aka Goku Son. All these other names, man. He's got all kinds of names. There's a close up. Obviously, you can tell it's Goku with the orange and blue gi, the crazy hair that never changes no matter where you, how he stands, and them derpy teeth. Man, I love the way he does this thing. I love his style of art. It is freaking awesome. I think I should have picked up the Rick and Morty when I had the chance. But those were prints. Those, are not, those weren't originals. And, uh, man, it's just really super cool that I have original art. I mean, I know he's not big or anything yet, but he might be one day. You never know. And the fact that I got some original art from him is really super cool. And especially it's Goku, man. Goku, you know, he's number one. Well, maybe number two. Because I'm a big Gohan fan. Right now, Goku's number one. Gohan's number two. If Gohan does something else to step up in this series, he'll be number one again. But right now, Goku is number one. And, uh, yeah, 
I think I might end up commissioning him out to do more characters for, uh, from Dragon Ball Z. Or maybe different versions of Goku where he's Super Saiyan. Because obviously he could do Super Saiyan really easy. Because obviously he's kind of limited on the space that he paints these on or draws these on. Um, if he can do the Vegeta with tall hair, he can obviously do a Super Saiyan. And as far as other characters, I think I would want to see like this. Frieza, definitely. Boo. Boo. Uh, Cell, Piccolo, and Gohan, I mean, Gohan wouldn't be so much different from Goku, so I mean, not, well, maybe young Gohan, but Krillin, I mean, all the characters that you, when you see them, you know who they are. Gohan's got to the point now where he almost is like a random Saiyan, not some, you could, if you know the Dragon Ball series, you know he's Gohan, but he just doesn't look that much different from everybody else now. Almost, you could almost uh, mistake him for Yamcha, but I mean, that's kind of an insult to Gohan. Anyway, these are pretty cool. Here's one last look at him. We got Vegeta over here, Goku over here. Pretty freaking cool, man. I like these. Side note, my friend is actually kind of jealous that I have those. He actually went to the arch where that guy was at. He had those on display, and he was going to buy them. And the guy was like, no, nah, I got a commission out to somebody else. Somebody lives out in uh, Burgall, and he knew exactly who it was as soon as he said that, because it was this guy. Last but not least, like I said, we, meaning me and my girlfriend, went back to Target that night when I went out to eat at Ruby Tuesdays. I was like... Go back by Target because, like I said, they were resetting the Funko wall. And I was on Instagram, and I don't know if you follow this guy named Funko Finders. He basically, like, man, he's on top of the game. He's better than any other YouTuber or anybody that does Funko news. You I mean, you know it right then. You don't have to wait till a certain day to find out anything. You just, like, you check your Instagram feed. He's on top of it. I mean, he posts stuff before Funko actually posted. It's crazy what he does. Anyway, he had mentioned before that Target, like I said, was doing resets. And one of the resets, there's, there's actually like a part set off for the Funko stuff just for Stranger Things. So, you know, Stranger Things is about to drop this month. And there's a bunch of stuff, man. Um, I don't know what kind of stuff. There's action figures, reaction figures, pops. And so I was like, let's go back there, check it out, see if they actually have that part up yet. We went back there, they had some of the stuff back up. They had like a lot of the older Funko stuff that was already there, pushed to the side on other pegs and was like all on sale. Then they had the Stranger Things set up. They didn't have everything there, but they did have some stuff there. But they had the one thing I was looking for there, and that was the reaction figures. Because Funko Fighters posted on Instagram that the reaction figures actually have chases. There was actually three different chases that you could get. There was an upside down wheel. There was a Demogorgon chase. Probably just kind of like the, like the pop where his face is closed. And then they have the Eleven chase where she's wearing a wig. And here she is. Walked right in there. She was not on the front. Flip through the peg, and there she was. The chase version of Eleven from Stranger Things, the reaction figure. Well, I don't know. Is this a reaction figure? I don't think this is technically a reaction. Kind of looks like reaction figures, the way the box, the card is made, and the blister pack. Very similar, but um, I think that's I mean. Funko makes reaction figures anyway, so that's kind of what they're going with here. So, yeah, there she is, the regular version. She doesn't have the wig on. I think she still has the, um, I don't know, does she even have the dress on? She might be in a gown. I can't remember. Anyway, Chase version has her in a dress, obviously, the jacket, and a wig. It comes along with an Ego box, and actually a little tiny down here. I don't know if you can see. You see there near her foot, there's an Ego by itself. So yeah, that's pretty cool, man. It actually has a, there's a Chase sticker here. It's a lot different from any other Chase sticker I've ever seen. Well, I've seen them, but only on these the styles of uh, products, like uh, cards and stuff. And I mean, I kind of wish Funko would make their own Chase stickers. Hello, Tucker. What's up, man? You want to be in the video today? I haven't made one in two months. What's up? I've already fed you. Bye. Anyway, as I was saying before my dog interrupted me, I kind of wish Funko would make their own chase stickers because I think a lot of times people can, you can actually buy chase stickers and just throw them on boxes. I mean, if you go on PPG right now, you find chases that aren't real chases, and it's kind of weird. Because, you know, when you go on PBG and you, well, they don't put them up there, but you go on PBG and look for a certain pop, and there's, then it shows, like, eBay thing or uh, sales or whatever. You can go down there and it shows certain pops that are not actual chases. What's up with my dog, man? Hey, man. What are you doing? He's, he's barking at nothing. Can you, can you see him? Hold on. There he is. What are you? Hey. There's nothing out there. All right, let me try to get through the rest of this video so I can go ahead and end this thing so I can actually go edit it. I haven't edited a video in so long. It might take me a while. But anyway, yeah, there it is. 
the reaction figure that's not a reaction figure of Eleven from Stranger Things. Not sure what I'm going to do with this. I might keep it, might trade it for something else, might use this trade bait. But they did not have the other chases there. This was the only one. So I don't know how rare these are. I know there's one in six, but when you come in a box of reaction figures, there's usually a bunch of different characters. There's not like a six pack of these. So the chance of getting a chase might be a little bit slimmer now. But yeah, that's pretty cool. If you guys are actually picking these up or have you seen some like this, let me know down in the comments below. If you ever get this guy like I did, let me know also. And this is pretty freaking cool. I mean, he's, I mean, there's a little bit of a wrinkle in the back back there, but I'm not going to complain. I mean, how often do you get chases at Target? I don't, not that often anyway. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. I got this guy. Things actually worked out for me. And it was on Friday the 13th. The day you're supposed to be unlucky and bad things are supposed to happen. <laughs> not for me. And last but not least, let me know what you think about these guys. I think they're cool. If you're not a Dragon Ball Z fan, I can see why you wouldn't think they were cool. So, if you do, let me know down in the comments below. As I said earlier in the video, in the uh, hunting part of the video, I'm actually going to make another complete video with a big haul. Like a lot of pops. The pops that I've accumulated over the last two months here and there that I just didn't make videos for. So, it's going to be a, I don't know, at least, I don't know. Probably somewhere between 15 and 20 pops, I would say. Anyway, guys, I'm tired of rambling on. I'm actually going to, I don't know what I'm about to do. I think I'm about to go to the beach or something. I don't know what we're doing. Anyway, if you like the video, make sure you slap that like button. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'm Matt, a.k.a. Mickens. I'll catch you guys in the next video, hopefully, if I make another one. Cross your fingers.